There we go. Welcome, guys, to episode three, UK Tech Talk. We've got uh, everyone sorted out for another one. We're back. And, uh, yeah. We're, uh, we're going to bring some more guests to it as well, I think. That's the kind of plan we've got as well. Um, and this time, this week, we've got Craig from Mobile Tech Talk. Would you like to give us a little bit uh, know? Jay's kind of around. said everything you need to know about me. I'm Craig from Mobile Tech Talk. That's pretty much it. <laughs> um, yeah, so Mobile Tech Talk, it's a blog like everybody else has got, basically, um, except we only kind of do hands-on reviews. We don't uh, we don't mess around with the day-to-day -day sort of, oh, there's been a new build of Windows 10. You must get it. We don't do that. <laughs> That's pretty good that you're just dedicated to the kind of singular idealism, though. Yeah, I mean, if we see anything cool in the news that we want to highlight, like there's been a few um, apps in uh, the Play Store and stuff like that, that that's that been um, discounted heavily recently, so we put stuff like that up. But we don't follow everything to the nth degree. We just kind of report on, look, we've had hands-on with this. This bit's cool. This bit's naff. You may want to get it. You may not. That's kind of what we're going to focus on. I like it. You seem like really direct in your approach, a bit like me, because I'm kind of like no bullshit at all. Like, you know, so that's pretty cool. It's <laughs> in my opinion, that's what, that's what I like. Yeah, we're trying. We're, look, we're slowly getting there. I mean, it's a saturated market. We're not mm. doing it for uh, you know to be millionaires. We're doing it because we like talking about tech. So. Yeah, that's cool, man. That's mm. cool. Yeah. So, yeah, I'm glad, Jay, you invited me on. I'll add that bit. Cheers, man. No worries. <laughs> <laughs> cool, man. Yeah, man. Uh, so we, we met at the honor event, didn't we? How did you uh, find that? Uh, well, the, the honor event. Uh, is yeah, I think. It, well, it was a kickoff really for them, wasn't it? I mean, it's early days for them in the UK. I know they'd got the uh, the Ollie and the and the six before that, but it was early days, and they they were really trying to establish themselves as a brand in the UK. I think with the six plus, they've kind of done that, especially because they kind of partnered with the three as a carrier. So I expect to see something similar with the seven as well. To be fair, if they don't, um, I'd, I'd be surprised. They've got to cement their sort of marketplace, and I think bonding with the carrier will probably be three again, to be fair. Um, it's probably the best bet. Mm. Mm. There is, uh, I don't know if I can really say about that yet, though. I have to disappoint you and say I can't tell you about that yet. In case <laughs> it's not official. Um, Are you holding something back to you? I think yeah. he is. No secrets here, yeah. my friend. Maybe there is. <laughs> yeah. Oh, we've got multiple uh, PRFs. Look. Oh, oh. <laughs> That's all right. It's his evil twin. Which one's the real one? <laughs> Bravo, you're still there, but you're having thing. difficulties. Yeah. We might have lost him. I don't know. He's moving around. We've lost his mic. Wi-Fi, his Wi-Fi is going. I think so. Sorry, I'm here, but it's just my signal's been really weird today. Thank you. <laughs> Sorry, what were you guys saying? Um, the Honor event. Me and Craig met at the Honor event, and you went as well, Pro, didn't you? But you were. Uh, Which one? Briefly. Oh, the Pao Liang one, the Chinese restaurant. Yeah. All oh, right. Oh yeah, Craig. Nice to speak to you, man. Sorry, I didn't mean to be rude. Nice to speak to you, man. As well, no, no, it's cool. been really dodgy, so I, was, like, I wasn't yeah, sure. Blame you, internet, mate. It's all right. <laughs> no <laughs> feelings. <laughs> No, it's good to have you on board, man, like as a guest and stuff. It's cool. Good to be here, man. Uh, what have you, did you guys do the intro? Because I kind of cut out after Jordan's bit. <laughs> yeah, we, we uh, gave Craig a little uh, bit of time to just talk about what he does. Um, and then we just basically said that I met Craig at the Honor event. And All right. Cool. Went to it briefly. Um, so who wants to kick off with a topic? Oh, we've got so much to talk about, haven't we, really? Um, I'm going to uh, jump straight in there with the motor event. Yeah, go for it, man. Um, so, yeah, three devices, the um, the X-Style, the X-Play, or the Moto X-Style, the Moto X-Play, and the third-generation Moto G. Um, don't think anybody's surprised with what the Moto G brought to the table. It's a you know budget to mid, um, mid-level mid device. Oh, ooh, oh everybody look at birth. Yeah. Oh, Moto G, third generation. I think it's a review unit, though. Like they, they, they kind of implied that when they said when they took our email address and stuff. So it's only a review unit if you give it back. <laughs> I mean, that's if they ask for it back. So. <laughs> <laughs> so I think, I mean, just to kind of quickly run down them, I think 
5.7 inch screen on the Moto X style for me is a bit a bit chunky, a bit big. Mm, um, yeah, but again, too much. It depends what the bezel's like. I mean, if it's if it, I haven't was, really seen too much of it. There was literally no bezel around the sides, man. It was really um, good. No. Well, that you know that might work then. But I mean, 5.7 generally for me, I'd say is a bit a bit steep. But mm. it's, it's going to work out about 360, 400 pound. So decent price point on that. And that's a what's that? That's an eight core. Um, what is it? 808. Um, yeah, right, yeah. So, yeah. Um, I, I, I like the look of the play though, simply because it's got a 1080p screen, it's got a much bigger battery, that's 36, 36, 30 milliamp hours um, on a 1080 screen, it should get 6, 7 hours of screen on time, so it should be beastly, so I think out of the three, that's the one that I'd be most impressed with, and that's uh, sub 300 pounds, so. I didn't yeah, get a chance to see the nice. play, the play was like completely hoarded by everyone, man. Yeah, so. it was. It looked quite nifty as well. The back, the back plate looked. It was two tone, wasn't it? Mm. Mm. It did co- look quite nice. I, I, I think the thing with Motorola is always going to be the camera, though. And um, I have a feeling because I had a Droid Turbo, and I have a feeling that it's going to be the same cameras that was on the style in the play. Cause it's a 21 big megapixel camera again, and it was okay, but it wasn't what you'd expect if you took a, a G4 or an SGS6 out and that had a 21 megapixel camera. Um, and Motorola have never been great at cameras, so I suppose uh, I'll see I'll see what happens when I get a review unit of those. Hmm. Yeah, I'd, I'd like to. I don't know. Um, I don't know if I'd get one in, but um, I'd certainly like to try and get uh, get them in at some point. Like, they really are. Uh, they really haven't got many uh, much of a bezel going on, like have they? No. <laughs> no I'm just looking now. That's like pretty much 100% screen, right? Very cool. Even the G doesn't have much bezel. You can kind no. of see. Yeah. So. It does look a big old beast, though, that style. Mm. Yeah, yeah. The turbocharging was interesting. You know how they said it's faster than the S6? Mm. Like, what I did, I've got footage of it. I'll, I'll put it in the video. But, like, in, in short five minutes, the percent went from, like, 81 to 87. It's quite impressive for just five minutes' time. And it said, like, it would fully charge in about 10 minutes. So from from eight wow. percent, not from zero, obviously. Yeah. Um, but yeah, hmm. so considering to my S6, like in five minutes, it only goes up by like two three percent. Hmm. So. How have you found the battery life on your S6? It's Is not right? too bad. It's it's not. Everyone actually just bad. slags it off though, aren't they? They're all just like. But the thing is, like, because I'm used to charging my phone every day anyway, and when yeah, I get home, right. I just stick it on the wireless charger, so it's not really a big issue for me. Yeah, that's, but, um, that's understandable. I think I think people do want the removable battery back, and I, I don't know if the Note 5 will have it. Like we're going slightly off topic, but I, I hope that they do have a um, removable battery in the Note 5. I think they'll have it in the Note 5. I think they're not going to have it in the what they would consider their premium handset, which you know, the, the, even though Note 5 is a flagship, it's sort of askew, isn't it, in terms of a product line? Mm-hmm. But the the SGS6, you know, it's so thin, they're never going to stick anything like that in there. And that's the only reason I sold mine was battery life. As much as I for, I think it was 20, 2,600 milliamp hours, something like that, wasn't it? Um, mm. for, for that, for that battery type, uh, for that battery capacity, I thought the battery life was good. Yeah. Um, but it's still, I mean, I came for a Droid, Droid Turbo with like 3,900 milliamp hours, and I, it, it, wasn't, it wasn't night and day, but it was enough. I got maybe three hours screen on time, um, and I'm looking for... More than more than four or five now. I, I want to be able to get through a day and use my phone a third of the day and not have to worry about charging it. But Completely, the wireless charging yeah. did help. The wireless charging did help. Stuck it yeah. on a um, a wireless charger and just let it drip drip feed all the way through. I did like that. Mm. Yeah. Obviously, battery life so important, isn't it? So important. Um. So I noticed, Jordan, you've uh, got some new content up on your channel. Oh yeah, we got old boxes. Oh, one bit. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Let's talk thought, about some of the new content, shall we? I just thought I'd take a bit of a bit of a change, really. Um, because I love eating stuff, so I thought why, <laughs> why, why, why not combine it with a video? <laughs> why not? So yeah. um, yeah, that's all right. Um, lunch packs are pretty good to uh to do though, but um, unfortunately they're not going to um make it a really regular thing, but. Oh, right. um, apart from uh, Fit Snack, I managed to get um, onto the Ambassador program with them, so that's every month. Well, there um, you go. There you go. You would get them Fit Snacks down here. <laughs> Tasty. 
So what, what actually <laughs> comes in these boxes? And I've seen it. I mean, it's like um, snacks, uh, loot crate for snacks, isn't it? Really, it's just a subscription yeah. box that you get a month or whatever with a bunch of stuff in it. So what sort of stuff do you get in the fit snacks stuff? The fit snack one um, this month there is like protein cookies, um, some like granola stuff. Uh, oh, what else are there in there? I draw a blank now. Um, uh, <laughs> You've like, eaten it all, haven't you? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm that. I noticed you get a free gym bag uh, if you use that link. Yeah. That's pretty. I'm just gonna go back through it quickly. <laughs> I've come up with a million dollar idea while we've been speaking, guys. Fast food crate. Big that is a good that is... to your door. I like that. <laughs> Burger King need to get on that. Like I know, man. What's going on? Fast food. Oh, it had some protein chips in it as well. That's the point. Two bags of them. <laughs> um. And. Uh... It had some, uh, some chips, like <laughs> rubbing powder that you put on your, um, you know. <laughs> Careful, you... Jordan, on what? Yeah. <laughs> Quick before you put, yeah, before you put your food in the oven, and uh, I tried that <laughs> on its own, and yeah, just, I just can't do that. People watch that. Uh, if you haven't seen it, if you want to uh, have a laugh at me, then it's more. Like I thought it. I thought your uh, horror block unboxing was. Uh, I thought it was really funny. Yeah. I, like I enjoyed them. it. <laughs> I like I like to see that side of you, man. It's cool. Mm. I've got another one actually, so we'll be another one of those. Oh well, I'm looking forward to that then. <laughs> Good stuff. Yeah, one. Um, what else have I? Something else I was going to say um, about that. You've got the uh, Studio Series uh, portable vocal booth. Hashtag Team Orange. Well. <laughs> If you want, no. <laughs> the um, yeah, that's uh, I think I don't know if it's still on sale for forty pounds, but yeah, that's well worth that, especially as a refurb. Just literally, just a scratch on the box. So did you buy that? Did you? Uh, no, uh, Mark sent it to me. Oh, very cool. I'm cool. pretty sure he sent me a normal one rather than the refurb, but it is nice, like. Mm. Oh, that does look it's nice, doesn't it? Good. Mm. P, when are we getting your review, mate? For what, the S6? Yeah, where is it? I want it. I, I, I don't know this. The works. I haven't, I haven't put up a video in two months, man. I don't know if you guys know it. So I've been so busy with work and everything. So yeah. That's fair enough, man, you know. It's real but, life gets in the way, doesn't it, man? It really mm -hmm. does. So it'll be good. Like I'm planning to put out at least either the G or the X style by tonight, so at least people will be like, oh, he's finally making content again. So we'll yeah, see what yeah. happens. Okay. But, um, oh, that's, yeah. that's good to know, man. That's good to know. And I finally opened the new computer today. Like, well, not opened it; it was already open, but like connected it up and stuff. Oh, so, nice one! What have you got? Um, basically, wait, who asked that? Craig, did you ask yeah, that? Yeah, yeah. Oh, All right. So it's got. So I didn't realize that. Like when Liam did it, he put it, put an SSD in there because in his build, he he said he took out some stuff. So yeah. I thought he maybe took out the SSD, but there's an SSD on there. It boots in less than ten seconds. I was like, wow. Yeah. Um, installing Premiere Pro took like two minutes. It's just <laughs> insane. So I just need to do the voiceover and then I'm going to start rendering. The only thing I'm going to be hit by is my upload speed, which is still shit, because that doesn't depend on the computer, does it? It depends on fucking no. BT rolling at infinity. Yeah. OG. So, <laughs> yeah. Non-fiber life. <laughs> but yeah. No, so. Non-fiber life. I like that. More Sweet, so you find in that headset. I love it. Can't you tell? I've got one. We've got some one. Is, Wait, is it an yeah. Astro? No, uh, it's a Sunvision Nemesis Akuma no, 7.1 okay. surround sound PC wide headset. There she is. Da. Honestly, I use it every day. And you might frown upon this, guys, but I actually use it for voiceovers because the freedom it gives you mm. and mm. the quality it can give you as well, it's, it, it, it's really good. So... I'm I know a lot of, um, I know it's not exactly the same kind of genre of video, but a lot of um, gaming YouTubers now just use headsets with the uh, the mics built in. Yeah, um, I'm not surprised, man. Yeah, I think they use um, 
I think it's Sennheiser ones, but but yeah, the principles are the same. Mm. Totally. I mean, it, it's it's actually kind of like really revolutionised my workflow in a way mm. because I can kind of get behind the camera and be really free and know that the audio is going to be absolutely spot on, and you know not have to worry about kind of staying in one place. You yeah. know, with a robotically moving your arms but trying to keep your head yeah. in the same place. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. So I was really pleased. I mean, they're really cheap as well. I think they're just like less than twenty quid as well. So yeah. bargain. absolute bargain. I mean, I might look like a Wally, but it works. So I'm happy. <laughs> I've got you beat on that stakes. Don't worry. <laughs> uh, convenience is key. Convenience is key. What was that, Moz? Were you saying that you do your voiceover with that headset? Yeah, man. All right. Okay. Like, I mean, I don't know how it's coming across to, tonight, but, good. I mean, mm-hmm. yeah, it's just crystal clear, you know, you just, you get it at the right position, you don't get it too close like that, you get it about there, and you're golden, you get the input settings right, you're golden, man. That's what I think, anyway. Yep. Yeah, sounds good to me. Does sound good. Cool. I'm glad. <laughs> but, yeah, I mean... I don't know if you've noticed, guys, but I mean, you know how often I post on my channel, it's absolutely crackers. Yeah. But, but um, I've had loads of stuff in. I had the uh, Smart, Smart Ultra 6 in, 6 in from uh, a yeah. Vodafone. What did you think of that? Because we reviewed that and we we couldn't score it highly enough, really. Well, we gave it a few drops, but yeah, I yeah, thought it was I mean, pretty good for the price. I think it's absolutely fantastic for yeah. the price, man. Like, um, the only thing I didn't really like about it really was the kind of audio output it gave because mm. I thought like the speaker was absolutely shite yeah. and um, basically it was quite hard to get a hold of. I didn't like I don't like the what they make the phones out of like the, the plastic rubbery back. Mm. Does so your it's really nice phone like, wise, doesn't it? And I think that's it. Yeah. The design aesthetics. Mm. Yeah, just, like the the volume rocker and the power button were just like so small and minimal. I was just like, I don't know what I'm pressing here. So there was a couple of design flaws in that audio thing, but for 125 quid, pay as you go, you're not really going to beat that for a phablet, in my opinion. Nah. Does your does your Ultra Six when you plug in a wired headset, does it play the music through the speakers? Because that's one bug I've noticed on mine, and it's really annoying. Really? Yeah. Try it on yours if you want. What? See, is yours this? Yeah, yours is probably the same, I guess. Uh, I don't know. No, dude, that hasn't happened to me. Have you tried it with wired headset? Because on Bluetooth it's fine, but it's just wired earphones. My oh, earphones, really? it happens, yeah. No, it's absolutely fine for me. But have like, you tried, sorry, Moss. Have you tried multiple um, headsets with it? Wired headsets with it? Because sometimes the poles are a little bit iffy. Maybe that's another thing wrong with the uh, the Ultra Six is that you know because they've had to cut corners on manufacturing process maybe some of the poles are a little bit iffy so that when you connect it doesn't quite click in could be, possi- track, yeah. could be a possibility but I just I've never had that problem to be honest really with you neither, no. um, that's weird per half, like I don't know why mate. Wait, I mean, but, yeah. I've, heard, I've heard like random people um, random people have said like um, they found like certain bugs with their devices and stuff but it randomly I, reboots uh, from time to time it yeah, I've heard like people like Facebook crashing like a lot. Yeah, I, I don't know, but I, I honestly had no problems with it at all. So, and I tested it. <laughs> well, I was I was surprised by how light it is for the size because it's a really light. Yeah, weapon. yeah, super light, isn't it? For like a second device or something like that, or you know, if you're going on holiday somewhere, you're going to be doing something a bit energetic. You don't want to take your yeah. SGS six or something like that. You know, mm. it's not a bad device yeah. at all, is it? And for the battery mobile. life is decent as well, three thousand yeah. million power. So, yeah. Yeah, man. Even then, man, like I, I would, I really wouldn't want to take it on holiday because it's, it's that nice. Yeah. I actually, I actually wouldn't want to like risk like dropping that in the pool or something like that. You know, I'll be absolutely gutted. Mm. Even though it doesn't cost a great deal, it's just like it's, it's a nice phone. I love that screen. The screen was lovely. Yeah, the screen is actually sharper than some of the other phones that, yeah. like, because um, what was it? AO had an S4, and when I showed him the Smart Ultra Six next to it, even though they're both 1080p, the mm-hmm. um, Ultra Six one just looks better. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. You'd be hard pushed to find like a you know pixel. A, a pixel, yeah. <laughs> Defo. I've got the um the Prime six now. Oh okay. So that's what I'm like working on now, so but this is awesome like as well. It's it's really not bad. It's eighty quid, pay as you go. Mm. Spoiler, I don't uh, work for Vodafone or anything like that, like I know. <laughs> We always have this conversation like Moz's always got like a shit ton of Vodafone gear in, but <laughs> <And me. laughs> 
<laughs> yeah, man, it's just it's the way it goes. But you know, at the moment, uh, that's all. Yeah, yeah they're approachable. So we are um, really friendly. Definitely. We had the Vodafone Smart First Six as well. The, yeah. the sort of entry level one, and I slated that. To be fair, I it was not good. Um, it was using a TN panel, so any sort of five or ten degree turn, you just couldn't see the screen yeah. at all. It was shocking. So to go from that and then look at the the Ultra Six, I was like, wow, this is night and day. Night and day. Yeah. Eighty extra hundred quid. Yeah. I mean, it's... yeah, I think they've really got it right with the uh, the new devices. Like they've really um, they've just got everything right that you want. Good battery life. Decent screen resolution, half decent camera, not amazing camera capabilities, but they'll completely do. Completely do. Hmm. Just try to keep up with the chat here, it's gone mad. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Which chat are you looking at? Uh, chat? No, okay. If you go onto like uh, Jordan's page, but make yeah. sure you keep it muted because like that's our live stream. You can yeah. kind of interact with the chat as well. I've kind of got it on my second monitor. Mars, how's things been with you generally? You mentioned the crack earlier. How's that going? Oh well, you yeah. Mentioned it apparently, <laughs> you said like there's a lot cracking or something. I was like, oh, there's a pun there. <laughs> 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 oh, everything's well. To be honest with you guys, like I mean. Um, I've had a bit of a problem with my shoulder lately. This is really boring, but uh, basically I couldn't work for like a good couple of weeks. I think I told you about it. I don't know, but uh, yeah, you mentioned in the group chat. I think to me and Jordan, I, I completely yeah. like like pulled my shoulder and like torn ligaments and muscle and stuff in it. Um, but I'm healed now, so everything's fine. But apart from that, guys, I'm just cracking out the content as usual. Cracking you know? out, there we go again. <laughs> cracking out the corner. <laughs> it just comes natural for, for me to speak like that, you know. To crack it out, man. You just um. <laughs> yeah. Jordan, what about you? How's work going? Yeah, not too bad. I mean, I've um, been asking just for kind of less shifts, just just try and catch up with YouTube work. But mm. I don't know. I'm just the struggle of actually physically doing it is getting to me at the moment. Um, I mean, if I'm not in this room, I'm always kind of like up for for doing it, like really kind of like, yeah, I'm going to get those done tomorrow or whatever. Yeah. But I think if I sit in here, I really struggle to do it. I don't know. But yeah. I'll get there. We'll get there. Well, you will. You will. I did. Uh, Craig, I'm not familiar. Um, do you have Do you have a YouTube channel? Or is it, or is it just yeah. a website? It's got all three videos on it if you want to go and check it out. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, no, I mean, look, video is something that I'm very new at. Uh, I mean, I've written right. quite a few sites, but video is something I'm just starting out on. Um, I'm, uh, the reason I'm using this and not my actual other webcam is you'd see that the fact is on this wall over here, I've got absolutely no paper because I'm, I'm redecorating the office. Um, so I'm going to set up a, a little video in section, nice little flip-up table, some review uh, uh, review area sort of thing. So we're going to start and kick that off probably in a couple of months. But most of my stuff's written. So there's a couple of things. There's a nice um, uh, tilt uh, energy backpack review on there, which all right. is all right. But other than that, everything else to be fair is voiceover or something. So. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. We've got, awesome got a few of the people that do that do videos, but they haven't done any yet. Mm. Talk, Ooh, talk makes some awesome products, man. The power plant is such a thing I live by. Yeah, I think I've I've had a mixed response um, with some of the ones that I've used. So the energy backpack is out. I, hold on, I've got it here. Live showcase, guys. Hmm. This is your first video. <laughs> it's uh, uh, yeah. it's awesome. The so it's quite a small backpack. Well, it looks like it, but. I managed to put, again it's on the video, I managed to put seven phones, three, four tablets, a laptop, a couple of cameras and a bunch of leads. Oh, easy. Easy. Uh, and it's got, um, I can't really show you because it will be quite dark, but it's got a 10,000 milliamp hour battery pack in it. Right. It's got a right. nice little insert so, to all the little compartments so you can run leads through there and just charge uh, the foot while you're walking around. It's so you can just feed like wires through things. to charge, like charge yeah. stuff in your bag and that. That's pretty yeah, sick. Yeah, so I mean that one's brilliant but then I used, um, they had an Energy 5K Plus which was, um, uh, I think is a 
seven or eight thousand milliamp hour battery pack, and it wasn't great. Um, it had a built-in lightning cable, built-in uh, micro USB cable, kind of at both ends. Um, Speed-wise, it was okay, but it wasn't yeah. great. And the thing you pay for with Tilt products, just like you do with Apple products, is the design because the design's brilliant. Um, yeah. But you can probably get that, that that sort of market saturated. But they do some really, really lovely design stuff. Um, and so far, my hit ratio on theirs is about 75% of good products. So it's not not mm. too bad at all. That's cool. Um, I actually recently got uh, the Tilt View wireless charger in. I don't know if any of you have uh, played with one of them, but uh, it's a good product. It's a really solid, solid product. There it is, yeah. What do you reckon, Craig? I mean, awesome. I've only had it a few days, but I mean, it seems awesome. pretty solid. Like the only thing I would say is I had my um, SGS six at the time when I got it, um, and I'll demonstrate. You'd think it'd be absolutely fine like that, uh, but you have to do that. Oh, really? Really? Because of the so camera the bump on the back. It kind of went on and off, on and off, on and off, on and off. But uh, it still charged it absolutely fine, no problem at all, and it charged it fast. I'm yeah. very impressed with it. I mean, it's not a cheap piece of cheap piece of kit, is no, it? But no, no, it's no. Not bad. It's bad. I thought no. it was very good. Uh, it's uh, tasteful and uh, functional for the most part, isn't it? Um, yeah, I mean, I I charge like my Nexus Five on it, and it's got this great big massive horrible case on it. But it still manages to like charge it absolutely no problem, like landscape and port rate. Yeah, it's a nice product, and I think it charges me iPad and all, so that's pretty sweet. Wow. Okay. Yeah, it is a good product. Yeah. Man. Yeah. Anyone heard news recently about an EE portable charger exploding? <laughs> Shit. <laughs> nah. <laughs> yeah, I, I I saw a few. Um, a few tweets about a few people saying it went off in their pocket or it went off in their bag or stuff oh like that. I, I don't know. You don't know how true these things are, whether people just jump on the bag and we're going to start trolling them, just yeah. try and get something free. But I heard that it wasn't of the best quality, put it that way. I'm guessing more about this one. It's not That's the one. That. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, uh, <laughs> right. Yeah, it it looks a bit shady as well. It looks like you should go down a dark alley and purchase it from a shop with uh, no blacked out windows or something, doesn't it? I mean, <laughs> what is it? Does it charge fast? I mean, is it what is it? A six thousand or three thousand milliamp hour or something? Oh, no, uh, two thousand six hundred. Okay. That do most phones a charge almost? Yeah. Um, I found it to be pretty slow. Hmm. Um, and then again, it was free, so. But it explodes sometimes. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's, uh, it's free, but it explodes. It might kill me. Uh, oh, risk and reward. Mm. Here's a free explosion, courtesy of EE. E. <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs> so how do you, how do you get them? Do you just go in the EE shop and they give you one, or? Yeah, at the time it was um, oh, you right. had to um, text a certain words to a number um, and then they'll give you a, a unique code that you just take in and they'll just tap oh, it in and then you get given one after that. Nice. Um, but they, they, they were on the receipt it said it was £25 um, and what? then it down to nothing so I don't think it's worth that no way really, but 25 quid down to an explosion. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so any other topics kicking about you just want to talk about? Nope. I want to know what people think of the OnePlus 2. I'm going to buy one. Can't believe it. <laughs> talk about it. What was that, Jay? I'm going to buy one, I think. Yeah, me too. Mm. How much do they go for? I can get one. We get an invite. 89, I think, for the 64 gig, 4 gig of RAM model. Mm. How much, sorry? Yes. 280. 289. What? What for the <laughs> OnePlus 2? Yeah, one plus two. Um, right. I think the sixteen gig, um, three gig, or oh, is it thirty-two gig, three gig model? I forget. Was uh, two hundred and fifty-nine, something like that. Whoa! I've got it somewhere. So, what are the specs like on the? <laughs> what's a rocking? Is it beastly? It must be, is it? Well, it is. It's a five-point-five-inch beast. Um, it's still ten eighty p, which I think 
personally is good. I mean, I know a lot of people go, QHD, QHD, brilliant, we want it. But I'd prefer uh, to have the battery life, thank you. Um, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. So it's got 1080p. Um, it's rocking a Snapdragon 810. But they say it's got no overheating problems. They say it's the version 2 from uh, Qualcomm. So huh. I don't know. Um, but yeah, 4 gig of RAM on the 64 gig model. Um, 30 megapixel camera, which is probably the same sensor as it had before. Maybe it's an updated sensor, I don't know. It's got but 4 it, gigs of RAM? Yeah. Mm. <laughs> Isn't that only the 64 gig, though? Yeah, that's only the 64. The 16 gig's so, got 3 gig of RAM. But yeah. <laughs> Who's going to go for the 16 when 64 is only a few, like, what, 50 pound more? Yeah, exactly. So, yeah. Yeah. When, when you're saving that amount of money on what will be considered a flagship phone, you'd do it, wouldn't you? But the strange thing is it's got no NFC and it's got oh. no fast charging hmm. which hmm. and no SD card, which I don't care about any, all three of them, but yeah. a lot of people have moaned about the NFC stuff, especially with you know Apple kind of pushing Apple Pay. They were expecting this sort of thing to kind of catch on in, in shops and stores quite a lot in the next year or so. They're surprised that for a flagship killer, it doesn't have NFC. Mm. Yeah. I mean, who uses NFC here, like, a lot? Cause I'll be honest, I really don't use it at all. No. I only ever use it on speakers that have got NFC when I demonstrate it in a video. That's it. Yeah, just to show its function. Mm. Hmm. Yeah. I tweeted that out, and... I I got one person come back and say I use it to, um, to I think it was to on the underground it's handy for the underground or something like that oh, yeah. and they use it but a lot of people use QR codes to pay for stuff and you know obviously yeah. people with iPhones will use um, Apple Pay yeah. I just wish somebody would come up with a universal NFC standard and stop pissing about yeah yeah, yeah. That would take money, though, wouldn't it? <laughs> it would take money and everybody agreeing on things. So, yeah. yeah, so it's got all that. It doesn't have NFC, it doesn't have an SD card, um, doesn't have fast charging, but it has a reversible USB-C cable, which is hmm. probably one of the first devices, or the first phones with that. I think the Nokia N9 had that, or N1. I can't remember which one, uh, what hmm. it was called. But, uh, other than that, it's pretty standard fare, hmm. but standard fare at 280 290 pound pretty good. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Oh, fingerprint sensor. Forgot to mention that one. P, do you use your fingerprint uh, sensor? On the edge, not really, man. No. No. I don't well, how did you find it on the Galaxy, on the S6s? Because mine, I, mine worked absolutely fine when it was factory reset, and then as soon as I started loading a few apps on there, it took started taking a couple of seconds to actually log in. It can get a bit laggy. Yeah. Mm. Other than that, the good like general experience across the OS and stuff is like you know lag free for the most yeah. part. But I did notice that with the fingerprint. One thing though, the horror story about the fingerprint. One of my mates at work did it, um, and then basically he couldn't get back in. Like it just wasn't recognizing, and then he forgot his main <laughs> Google account password. So he was kind of just screwed. In the end, I think he reset it, but he just uh, yeah. It was like since then I was like I'm going to turn the fingerprint off. Yeah, it has a backup password, doesn't it? But if you if you forget I think that, forgot that because the backup password has to be really secure, or something. So I think he forgot that, and then yeah. So I don't know, but it's just it's getting more dangerous, man. Like what you said about um, NFC and like contactless payment, like Apple Pay, Android Pay is on its way. I think just paying for stuff with your phone, it just puts so much more info on your phone. Mm. Like if you lose it or if you you know it's stolen, you're just more panicking about what someone could do with it. Yeah, I think, I mean, I, I was speaking to somebody the other day about this, about mobile security and how still probably 99% of people never put an antivirus or, or any sort of uh, security on their phone. Um, I never have until probably about a year ago. And I just think maybe there needs to be a bit more education around this sort of stuff, make sure you've got a secure. I mean, how many people actually have a passcode on the phone? Uh, most people I meet don't even bother. <laughs> But to be honest with you, though, like I only, I think I only just like implemented it because I was bored. <laughs> I need something <laughs> new. I'm gonna put a password on. Yeah. Legit, I was like, okay, I'll make it harder for myself to get back into my phone. Why not? Let's enter a passcode that I can potentially forget. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, man. So Windows 10. Anybody give a fuck? <sighs> I give. <laughs> Uh, probably a little bit bigger than that. Yeah. Oh, fuck. Uh, well, that's cool. It's a power bank, like you know what you guys were talking about earlier. 
2200. Oh, it doesn't blow up. <laughs> don't jinx it. Oh, I don't know. We'll get some serious <laughs> views then. I'll take one for the team. <laughs> but um, yeah. I don't know. It doesn't. It doesn't seem all that like exciting. It, it, it's a good update, but I think I'm going to stick to eight on the PC for now, and then seven on the laptop. Yeah. If I could stick to seven on everything, I would. But everything news and eight. Because eight. apparently, one thing I heard about ten is it doesn't give you a choice on whether you want Windows updates or not. It will force you to do them, and it's the first OS that does that. That's going to piss a lot of people off because yeah. updates are just annoying on Windows eight, from what I've observed. Yeah, I haven't used Windows 10 yet, um, but part of my, my day job is um, working for a cloud hosting firm, so we'll, we'll need to be getting on top of that sort of stuff. Um, but I haven't personally used it, but if it does that, yeah, why would people move? I mean, people moan about eight, Windows 8 anyway, and they've just got it to a point where, you know, they like it slightly more than Vista. Yeah. <laughs> but one, like, annoying thing on 8 or 8.1 is, like, someone was saying that, it gave them like an option to, you know, postpone updates. Like after 11 minutes, your computer will restart. Blah blah blah. And then you had postpone or cancel. So he hit cancel, thinking, all right, he, he's not going to get bugged for like another hour, maybe two hours or whatever. 11 minutes later, the machine just randomly started turning off, and it said installing updates. And he didn't even save his work or nothing. So yeah, just some of the critical them. ones I think do that. Um, but and that's yeah, it's a bit naff. Like, I think the best system for updates is what the Chromebook does. Like, whenever I have an update on the Chromebook now, there's just that arrow in the bottom right. I click it and then click restart to update, and it's done in, like, a few seconds. So. Yeah, I, I suppose the only thing is somebody with a Microsoft hat on would argue that the OS is a little bit more complicated than Chrome. <laughs> but, but I think laptops are going the way of Chromebooks, though. People want to be doing things on the cloud. Like, imagine when you can run Premiere Pro of some expensive server in America, but you're just streaming that. That would be so powerful, because then when you hit render, you're rendering off that machine, not your own. Not so on your internet it. speed, mate. <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> but, yeah, good point. I mean, yeah, it, it's all going cloud. Um, everything's going cloud. I don't... I mean, I work for a cloud firm, but yeah. I'm not fully sold into it. Uh, public cloud is different from private cloud, and I... I do store stuff on OneDrive and Dropbox and stuff like that. I don't touch Google Drive with a barge pole. I can't stand the thing. But I still have a, a private cloud. I use a, a NAS and you know media server and stuff and all that's kind of well just behind this camera here located. Um, I won't put any sensitive documents in a public cloud. I just get this. Uh, everybody in the industry that I speak to seems to think that some sort of Skynet sort of apocalypse is going to occur. Not in terms of you know, Arnold Schwarzenegger kind of laying waste to humanity, but like <laughs> Google are going to close their doors and close ranks and say, right, all this data you've given us, you're going to have to pay for it now. Um, I don't know whether it will be Google or do it, but I'm sure somebody will. Because that's the problem. We're so reliant on cloud services now, aren't we? That without even an internet connection, you're like, shit, I can't access my email. Or I can't check for new stuff, and it's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. We're all glued to our phones, aren't we? It's pretty yeah, scary. Cheap. Yeah, we are. Most of us are. <laughs> I am. <laughs> <laughs> oh well, this is how it goes. Jordan, you've gone quiet. So... <laughs> I'm rooting through, trying to find some more things. Oh, Google Plus and YouTube, no longer. Yeah, they've split, haven't they? Oh, is and everyone's it? going, yay! But I'm like, it's taken you like a year. <laughs> Just <laughs> Everybody's kind of gone, oh, okay, fine, I'll deal with it now. And then they go, we've done this for you. And you're like, oh, so now I've got something else to do. Fine, okay. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, I think everybody moaned about it and you know they've got their own way, haven't they? So mm. I don't know how it affects you guys. You guys are YouTubers more than probably I'll ever be. So how does it affect you guys? I'm not really feeling any difference. <laughs> Are you? <laughs> the, I mean, um, we're, we're using a, a Google Plus hang, Hangout here, and I think this is pretty much all I've ever used it for, to hang out right now. To I mean, be honest, man. When I publish videos, I'll click the... Well, I won't click it, but the Google Plus page, like, yeah. has always clicked, but I'll never look at it. <laughs> yeah, I know, I know, it's... Occasionally, like I'll go on my like Google Plus page, and it says that I've got like hundreds of thousands of like views on the page, <laughs> but I'm just like, no, it is. I'm never there. Yeah. <laughs> I just, I just, it just automatically posts there because it's another place to share content. How are comments handled now on YouTube? Then, if they've split from Google Plus, that was one thing I liked because you could moderate it using Google Plus. 
and you also had more space to write stuff. Mm. So I'm not sure. I just use oh. the studio app mm. most of the time. I did notice there was a new. Um, I think they called it Relationship Manager um, on the comments page, uh, and there's a few different things that are kind of worded differently, but the principle for the comments I think is practically the same as it used to be. It's going to be, isn't it? Oh well, Google Plus. Never mind. Anybody use Google Plus anymore? Very rarely. No, no, no. I never did. I was bought into it as a concept. I mean, remember when uh, they bought out was it Google Google Wave? I was bought into it, and I was like, okay, fine. You know, you can collaborate and keep everything central. And and uh, then Twitter happened, and people were like, yeah, fuck this Google stuff. I don't care. Yeah. Um, I don't think I think there's a lot of people that rave and say I've had 10 million views on Google and it's like well yeah, yeah. but what have you got from that <laughs> yeah. yeah it's hard to justify the numbers I suppose yeah. the only real benefit is if you wanted to get your YouTube page verified hmm. uh, so yeah I did that but I mean purpose. does it really matter you know not really but thanks. <laughs> Cheers, Google. Yeah. Thank you. High five. Thanks for stopping by. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Just, ca just carry on making uh, making Chrome updates bloat and uh, making yeah. your browser worse. Just concentrate on that. <laughs> Aye. Right, hopefully there shouldn't be any more drops now. I just used the Vodafone signal as a hotspot, so... <laughs> Oh, it's Vodafone again. We're like a Vodafone podcast. What's going on? <laughs> UK this Tech Talk sponsored by Vodafone. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, Not a sponsor. Idea. Um, our channel hit a thousand subs, guys. Nice. Oh, oh, congrats, man. man. What work? <laughs> yeah, took Good forever, too. but we got there. <laughs> I don't know. Aim bit now. <laughs> Oh yeah, Craig. Craig, you mentioned you're coming. Well, you mentioned you're not anymore, but you were going to come on Thursday, were you? Yeah, I was. Yeah, I was. I'm not anymore. I'm going to be uh, in Edinburgh, so it's a bit of a commute. <laughs> Just a bit, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, unfortunately, day job took over. Um, but yeah, that was going to be interesting. But the the, the only thing, I, you know, it was going. They're going to give you. Um, some smart ultra sixes, aren't they, to to kind of review and stuff like that? Well, yeah, I, apparently that's on like a long term loan, so hopefully it's more than the two weeks or something. Right. Okay. Oh. Yeah. So so that'll be good. Um, uh, you know, we've I think there's quite a few people that have already done a review, but a longer longer review um term is going to be good for that sort of phone because it mm. it leak out some of the things that you said, like you know, a few random reboots and bits and pieces like that. In a a week yeah. or two week review, you don't necessarily get to see all that. So that's true. You still going? Uh, yeah, I mean, it'll be good to meet the people that, like, you know, we talked to over email, James, and whatnot. Yeah. So, so yeah, I go mainly for networking because, I mean, Vodafone, like Moz and you said, they're awesome for devices, but it's just nice to kind of meet people in person and stuff. So Yeah, yeah, yeah that's, that's, that's the reason I was going down because, like I say, we'd already looked at the phone, so. Yeah. Yeah, I was invited too, but I, I just kind of made it, unfortunately. That's cool that you got invited, though, Moz. That's congrats yes. for that. Uh, cheers, man. Yeah, it would have been nice. It would have been nice to see you as well. Exactly. I haven't met you yet at all, and we've talked for like two years, if not more. So. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm on the Twitter mostly, but yeah, man. Absolutely. Yeah. Um, but it's cool to see them do that stuff because three oh, have done yeah. quite a few. Vodafone never yeah. did any events or anything. No. So. Three, three are, uh, always feel to me like they're uh, very involved in the community, um, mm. and you know they they kind of right on the edge of it and they can kind of seamlessly jump back and forth between sort of a big sort of retail giant and hey guys you know we're just down the road come and have a drink with us whereas <laughs> Vodafone uh, not so much so it's nice to see them doing some of that sort of stuff and mm. reaching out mm. well, they're obviously like really proud of the products that they've created lately because they are really amazing for the consumer mm. in my opinion so they obviously like want to get as many bloggers down there to uh, publicize it as possible but to right, they've got some good air uh, products on the hands, so why not flaunt it? They have, uh, they have pushed it out to quite a few people. I mean, yeah. just go on YouTube and look at uh, Smart Prime, Smart Ultra, Smart Tab, 
all that. It's everywhere. I've reviewed all of them. Yeah. I mean, like my last review is the Prime Six right here, but that'll be the last of their new smartphones. And uh, I was lucky enough to review all of them. So, so I did a piece a couple of months ago, um, and one probably about a year ago, about not death of flagship, so to speak, but the fact that you know these big SGS six and um, G four. Um, Launches, people are a little bit, you know, oh, a bit yawning about it. You know, do we really care so much? And with devices like this that are coming out, and you know, the Chinese devices, the Oppo devices, the uh, OnePlus Ones, the Meizu's, the Xiaomi's, all these sort of guys, bringing them, bringing the quality up to a certain level of standard that that's acceptable now, and with lower price points, do we really think that? It's let's say in the UK or in Europe that people are going to start looking at these things and saying, I don't want to pay six hundred pound for a, a Galaxy S. Six. Yeah. Uh, pay yeah. seven hundred for an edge. Yeah, yeah. I think you got a good point. Good point. Do it. Do any of you guys own any of these Chinese imports, or is it just kind of like me with all of them? <laughs> no, but I'm trying to get a few in. But I mean, um, they're not the easiest to get a hold of. A lot of the times, they do, they don't um, respond. No. Nah. <laughs> so that sucks. But I mean, you know, I've got enough on my plate to be honest. So. Do you consider the Honor 6 Plus a Chinese import, Craig? No, I don't. Um, but uh, I think if I'm being totally honest, I mean, I, I give a lot of props to Honor for what they've done. You know, they've kind mm. of partnered with 3 and all the rest of it. But I think some of the, like Xiaomi and the Meizu stuff, um, are probably better software products. I think there's been a few issues with the 6 Plus software. As a device got no problem with it at all. I think the hardware is spot on. So no, I wouldn't class it as an import. Um, I just think there's a few people that don't quite like the Emotion UI stuff. Yeah, um, yeah I'd agree. Uh, it's quite heavy, isn't it? On the it is quite heavy. And it's it, it still has a few issues. I think a lot of people are having some Google Play services issues and stuff like that as well. So. Mm. What about Alcatel? I haven't had a lot of experience with Alcatel phones. Um, They're rising up them. Like, mm, they are I, a rising I, brand. I think the One Touch iDog three or something got really good reviews. Yeah, yeah. One of our guys, um, Dominica, is looking at um, at the iDog three. Oh, yeah, is that so Dom? Is in mobile Dom? That's the one. Oh, yeah, yeah. I've spoken to him before. Yeah, he was there yeah. today, but I didn't see him at the thing. Oh, didn't you see him? Oh, right. Okay. Oh. Yeah, he was there. I thought he was going to hobnob it with everybody. But <laughs> no, he didn't. Because <laughs> I saw his tweets and stuff, so then I was like, ah, oh, so he must be somewhere here, and then I just couldn't spot him. He's quite tall as well, so I would have seen him, but yeah. He's, he's tall, but I think if he stands sideways, kind of light bends around him because he's, he's quite skinny. <laughs> <laughs> I think um, Parav and Jordan, I think you're probably the tallest men in tech. <laughs> yeah, probably. Probably. <laughs> <laughs> you're a couple of big guys. I mean, I'm 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 six foot, so I'm I'm, you know, average height, I guess. But you guys are. <laughs> I bet I'd easily be able to find you. Just just yeah. seeing. That's all I'm seeing. I'm not seeing anything else. It's a good thing, I guess, isn't it? Instantly recognisable. <laughs> Definitely. So, um. I've just got um, <laughs> a droid box in. You know, there's oh, okay. like smart TV boxes kind of thing. Yeah. Sprouting up everywhere nowadays, aren't they? But um, yeah, I got in touch with uh, droidbox.com and they sent us uh, one of the like kind of budget ones. And it's actually really good, but uh, it's a pretty basic package, but um, it's pretty cool. Like It's called the M5. I did an unboxing on my channel uh, yesterday. But... Um, Apart from that, it's all smartphones and shit. <laughs> How's your music stuff going, Moz? I see the guitar is there in the background. <laughs> music is fucking sick, man. It's going <laughs> really well. Um, we played a gig uh, on the weekend, just gone. A um, rock indie cover band. We're called Shine, selfless uh, promotion. Oh, and, right. um, yeah, it was fucking awesome, man. Like I just love it, man. I just because I sing in the band as well, and I just shout me ass off, basically. <laughs> and, um, it's true. It's true. If Vodafone want to um, hire my band <laughs> to play in London for the Blogger Social, we will accept. There you go. And we'll play Everlong for you. Promise. 
So, Jordan. <laughs> <laughs> Moving on. Oh, correct. You see Ryan. Huh? Oh, yeah, I did see Ryan. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I met Ryan today, yeah. Right. He was cool. He was he, he was quite snappy though, like because obviously he had to do his coverage and then go. I think he had mm. quite an early train or something. He's but I saw him. I saw, that. yeah, I saw Super Saf. Uh, oh, you saw Saf. Yeah, Sam. I've I've met Saf before at one of the LG things. Um, but Sam Pullen was there. I didn't really get a chance to speak to him. And then I saw the usual lot, like Nirav, uh, Gadgets Boy, those people. So yeah, mm. that's cool. I met one new guy, Ultimate Reviews. Like he was, he was actually really cool. Uh, his name's Ike, I think. But you'll see him in the um, in the Moto G video because I got like his bit on it, a bit of like his thoughts and stuff. Okay. Um, nice. But yeah, he's cool. got like about eighteen thousand subs. But he was quite humble as well. Like I was kind of intimidated to ask for a collab because you know how most of the bigger guys don't really work with the smaller people. Um, but he was cool. So. This is like a little thing I like to touch on quickly now. Is like I. I was lucky enough to. There's a YouTuber, a gamer YouTuber called Sky Does Minecraft, um, and uh, I think it was back in 2013. He liked one of my videos, um, and even him just doing that gave me. I think it was like 1,600 subscribers or something. What? It was literally overnight, and um, wow. I think about 12,000 views. Um, literally, my email inbox because I got like a little filter on a folder for every subscriber. Um, every time I deleted them. Like more came in, and it was just endless. Um, uh, so YouTube was, problems. <laughs> yeah, I, I've always had that kind of approach that if I was to get a, a really high point, that I would always like keep a lookout for the guys like that. Mm. And like you said, if um, somebody collabing with that amount of subscribers, yeah, I, I shouldn't. Yeah, they shouldn't overlook that. I don't think because they don't mm. know how much it helps. Yeah, it's very helpful, that isn't it? It's, uh, mm. it's nice to do that. Not that I've ever received one. Thanks, guys. Yeah. <laughs> it's not like you know any other YouTubers, either. <laughs> I just know these guys. <laughs> you knew, knew more YouTubers. Yeah. No, I mean, I don't know. It's nice to have um, a lot of subscribers and stuff like that. You know, it's it's a, it's a humbling thing to think, like, you know, there's a thousand people. You know, they're not subscribers, the the people, you know. Yeah. And it's nice. It's just getting getting your opinions and getting your thoughts out there, and you know people listening. That's what it's yeah. about. Yeah, it's cool. YouTube's loads of fun. I'm still having fun with it. So, you not thought about jumping across the vessel yet? Uh, I see a, quite a few of the uh, the others have jumped across and starting to get no, um, no. But what do you mean jumping across the vessel? In what sense? Um. Seeding new content on Vessel first, um, oh. and uh, and maybe giving it a form a four week sort of time lag before they're sticking on YouTube. So ah. sort of subscribers to Vessel and people that pay premium. Is that um, the new Patreon then? It, it's well, it's it's basically YouTube, but you can put it behind a paywall. Oh, okay. You don't have to, but you can. I'll probably just stick with YouTube. Hmm. I'm so used to it. I mean. Uh, Obviously, the the revenue uh, you generate is pittance, unfortunately. But you know, that's just how it goes, man. I love making videos. That's about it, really. That's what it's all about, isn't it? Yeah, that's man. Fun. So, there you go. Para, how are you liking that chair? <laughs> it's really comfortable, man. <laughs> D a DX. Mm, nice, man. GT Omega, yeah. Oh, okay. Oh, it's um, yeah, it's uh, one of Kaz's, right? Yeah, yeah. It's still super surreal to think what happened back in June, man. Still mad. You and well, Jordan, you and Liam were like, yeah, masterminds behind it. It's just crazy. <laughs> yeah, it's like, yeah, we're just we're just gonna we just turned up for a day, you know, we just thought we'd to London. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty cool, like. It was so funny. Like I, I totally didn't understand what the hell you were talking about when you DM me to tell tell me about it. I was like, "What?" <laughs> yeah, because for anyone that, that didn't know, we um we planned to have a tech talk stream that was just a literal decoy to make sure Per was home. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, you slap bastards. <laughs> that would have been so good though to get you then. 
It was like Saturday morning. Do you want to do a stream? It's like, hmm, this isn't suspicious at all. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. No, but yeah, no, it was cool. <laughs> Hi, man. Craig, by the way, I haven't I haven't had a chance to thank you. Like you did a lot of initial support for UK Tech Talk, didn't you? Like initially, and also the f future episodes, like you tweeted it out and stuff. So thanks a lot for that. No, yeah, no problem. Thanks, man. It's, it's good to get these sort of things out there. I mean, mm. people have got opinions that other people should be listening to because. You know, I know people will say that it's fun making YouTube videos, as Moz just said it, and it is, but it's also a bit of work as well, you know? Yeah, so no, it's yeah. nice to see people, getting people, driving people to the channels and getting them to listen to, to some of the things that you put sometimes hours, sometimes days of effort mm -hmm. into. So, no, it's good stuff. Yeah, man. Um, Moz, it's your brain chart. <laughs> UK Tech Talk. It's, it's, just, it's just a fun podcast, you know what I mean? Like, it's yeah. like I always wanted to talk to like you and Jordan anyway, but like... Mm. This is obviously the perfect platform to do. Getting guests in is a great idea, man. Because uh, Craig hasn't shut up for the entire time. Now I'm joking. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going on mute now. Hold on. Oh, Damn. Um, I really like... Uh, you tweet me the other day, Craig, and I completely Probably. missed the point. <laughs> I was telling Jordan about this earlier on. Um, it may not have had a point. Because <laughs> a lot of my tweets don't, but I'm sure it. I think it did, but I completely took it the wrong way. Um, okay. Basically, um, I posted a picture on Instagram of somebody's YouTube video, and it was laden with ads, and it had about 15 or 16 ads around the the bottom bit. And um, you text, you uh, tweeted me, said like, "Boom, ad shot" or something like that. People yeah, are just yeah. gonna instantly turn off when they see the ads and stuff like that. Uh -huh. And. I had moved on since then, and I received <laughs> that that tweet, and like I'm I'm mental anyway. So I read that, I thought like, is he saying that I advertise too much on my videos? Cheeky bastard! <laughs> no, no, it, it was my attempt at uh, at humour. Yeah, it I completely missed the point. Yeah, I was like a cheeky bastard. <laughs> <laughs> Never mind. Yeah, because of my day job, I'm I'm all over the place, and oh, I'm I'm actually working, believe it or not. Um, damn that work! <laughs> and so occasionally I'll look at Twitter, and it's like, right, you have missed sixteen thousand tweets. It's like, right, I'll just pick three or four to look at. Yeah. <laughs> and so it could be like a day old. Yeah, yeah. And then I I, I try and kind of carry on the conversation, and people have moved on since then. <laughs> it's cool, but uh, yeah. Yeah, I was I was kind of angry for. <laughs> I didn't get an angry tweet back, so you were quite restrained. I was because I wasn't entirely sure it was justified for me to be angry, and of course it wasn't. So there you go. But yeah, any of you guys know where Warrington is? The M reviews act. Name rings a bell, but it's what? Manchester way. Oh, that's in the chat I just saw. So, how long have we been live? An hour? Oh, an yeah. hour, yeah. Yeah. Coming up to now. Does anyone get put off when, like, obviously, like, the MotorX and stuff, all the new um, variations are getting released and all that kind of stuff? Do you ever get put off by, like, your subscription box, seeing them completely flood with the same content? And I know they're just, obviously, <laughs> it's journalism, that's what they're doing, but, like, does it ever just piss you off? Yeah. Yeah. It pisses me off. Can't help. There goes my Moto G video. <laughs> <laughs> Parav, you can only do two videos a year, an unboxing and a review. Like, done. That's it, yeah, and spread them out. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> one now and one in two months down the line. Yeah. <laughs> Buy the think... phone in the spring, review it in the winter. Get me. <laughs> I think you've got to find a different way of, of doing it. I mean, you look at some of the bigger outlets, you look at like Verge and you look at like Pocket Now and all these guys, and they're all, they're all pretty they're pretty much similar. It's right, here's what you get out the gate. Now let's have a look at it in depth. Oh, and now let's compare it to some other handsets. And it's like, well, yeah. okay, I can do that by reading. Um, mm. Show me something yeah. different. Show me something in depth on a particular feature or something. Do something a bit different. And I think you know the it's so saturated now that someone somewhere has covered it about six or seven times already. So yeah, yeah. Mm. I can't don't blame them. But it, yeah, it is a bit annoying. I just get so like um, disheartened. Just like when I see it, just plastered everywhere. I'm just like, 
Oh, I don't care. No, I don't. I don't care. I don't care. I don't care. I don't care. It I saw. Oh, what did everything. I see? I saw um, a tweet. I'll try and find it, but I probably won't be able to. From I can't even remember who it was, but it was it was a big, big tech outlet, and they were saying stay tuned for Moto G third generation versus Moto G second generation versus <laughs> Moto G first generation. <laughs> I was like, who cares about that? <laughs> uh, I don't know, man. <laughs> I don't know, but like sometimes, like the viewership on those kind of like crazy videos going down the generation versus get crazy, um, get tra- crazy, uh, traffic like mm. madness. Clickbait. Clickbait. Mm. Clickbait. Beginners Tech is in the chat. Yeah, I just noticed him. Yeah. Brian. Chris Wallace, nine five nine, is in the chat. Chris, oh yeah. In the mix. So Chris. Has anyone got any questions they want to ask? Actually, we could end it with yeah. Q and A. Any questions in the chat, guys? Go for it. Hit, hit us up. Ah, oh, 5 a.m. British summer time is when Windows 10 goes live. Oh. According oh. to this article from Inquirer. Oh, All right. I saw a Verge tweet earlier saying it was it was here. So I assumed it was it was close to well it's come out of RTM now, so mm. uh, is RTM rather. Ten two forty is the final build. We'll see. I d I I don't think the majority of people won't jump on it quickly, will they? There's no need to. I mean mm. most people I speak to are still using Windows seven. What are you guys using? If you're using Windows at all. Seven. Seven and uh, eight. S- Seven, I believe. I I just use this like mini PC I got for review. Um, but it's actually awesome. Like um, yeah. I use obviously like my second monitor on my telly, my other telly. But um, it's really good. Like, mm. but, uh, it was a bit of an education for me because the last I hadn't used Windows. Are you ready? Since XP. <laughs> Dang. So there you go. When I got this, it was a bit of a that's OG. For real. So there you go. But I actually quite like it. So it's all going to get messed up now with Windows 10. Yeah. Or maybe not. I don't know. I don't know. Who knows? Was, uh... was Favorite that? phone of all time? Oh. Go on, Jay. Kick it off. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> Favorite phone, Jay. Come on. Well, I'm using a Note 3 at the moment. Um, what like a Note 4 I just like the big phone mm. big size but I haven't really used them very much apart from that I've used the uh, S6 Edge uh, the Note Edge as well but yeah, I haven't really used many phones to be honest P uh, favourite phone of all time probably the HTC Desire because that was my first smartphone so I've got a bond with that for life. Um, Craig? Yeah. <laughs> Sorry to put you off. <laughs> Go ahead, man. You're still talking. Sorry. No, I'd finish pretty much, but no, just saying, yeah, that's, that's always the... <laughs> I guess that and the, the S2 as well, because the S2 was the first phone I got to review, so... The S2 uh, yeah. was baller, wasn't it? It was really good. Mm. Craig, did you... Um, God, there's so many. I think, uh, not from a spec perspective, but just because at the time I, I it, it felt like it was night and day to everything I'd had previously Samsung Galaxy Nexus uh, ah. I just love that device and I still use it today as a media player really? it's still brilliant um, so yeah I'd go with that that's cool I remember Giganoids getting that in like back in the day like and I was like whoa that's that's a game changer and it really was it kind of like shaped the rest of the Nexus uh, devices up until now yep Every phone still looks like it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're right. Yeah, <laughs> definitely. What about you? That's curved yeah. screen, wasn't it? Yeah, it was curved. Uh, yeah. Yeah. It had the lip, didn't it? it? Had the lip as well. It was like the one of the last iterations of the lip. Oh, I got it somewhere. Where is it? It's hiding from me. Here we go. Can't yeah. see it. Anymore, I don't think. But yeah, it's slightly curved. Is it? Is it a four-inch screen? Um. Yeah, I'd say so. That's I can't cool. Checking, but I'd say it is, um, and it got some serious up, um, support as well uh, in terms of updates. 
I doubt they're updating it now, though, are they? No, no. But you can <laughs> get you can get lollipop on it. Yeah, yeah, it is. Custom ROM in it, yeah. 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 I would say like my favorite phone has to be the 4S, like. Oh really? Like, yeah, definitely. Because this is the first phone that like launched me doing YouTube videos, and yeah. I still actually use it today. It's got a fantastic microphone inside of it. The uh, video quality is not too bad at all if you get the right lighting. It has great autofocus. It has great exposure. And, of course, it's got, like, iMovie in it as well. Like, you could buy, like, apps for it. Like, you could literally get work done. Mm. And you're doing it on this little device. This is basically what started my channel. And I think it's an absolutely fantastic device. I think the build quality is unreal. Yeah. I don't think they've beaten it, in my opinion. I think it's a gorgeous phone. Nothing beats that glass at the back. That is the sexiest iPhone I've ever seen. Yeah, poor Ev. Um, amazing how close to the 6 Plus that looks, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's true. It's so all I can see place. when I see an iPhone 4 now. <laughs> it's an Even iPhone. If... It's an Honor 6 Plus Mini. <laughs> <laughs> uh, beginner's text. So question for everybody. One plus 2 or Moto X style? I'm going for one plus two. Yeah, one plus two. P. Uh, it's a difficult one. I haven't really looked too much into the one plus two. I only know the specs from what Craig mentioned earlier. I would say Moto X style, just to be different. <laughs> <laughs> Craig. Yeah, I'd go one plus two. I think um, between that and the style, I'd go one plus two. Yeah. Hmm. There you go. What was that um, PC you were saying about you using? Is that the, the SunVision one? SunVision, yeah, uh, Cyclone, um, Windows Mini PC, yeah. Nice. That's hmm. the one. Are you going to inquire about that item, Jordan? I may do. <laughs> it's quite good. It's it's really, really not too bad for the price. It's, it's just as fast as my Mac Mini, I'm not going to lie. Nice. It really is just as fast as that. I can't get any serious work done with it, but for word processing and just using it for like Cody and uh, YouTube, it's absolutely fine. You know, it streams well. Yeah. It's uh, it's more than you want, really. Mm. What operating system is it? What? What operating system? Uh, Windows Seven, I think. Seven point one. Seven point one. Yeah. Is I'm not familiar with Windows, mate. 8.1, 8. <laughs> has it got the nice little tiles? <laughs> yes, it's got the tasteful yeah, tiles. 8.1. 8. Oh, so it's 8.1, yeah. Thank you. I yeah. Am. As I say, I'm not really familiar with Windows uh, stuff, so... But either way, I mean, how much how much does it retail for? I think it's just... I think it's about 130 quid. That's a bargain for a computer. It's yeah. a mega bargain. I mean, like... And to be honest with you, like, I kind of... Um, I use like a lot of emulators with it as well, I'm so not. you can actually game with it as well. Um, so like, uh, you can download like 64 games and stuff, and that actually root like run at a really nice 30 FPS. Hmm. So, yeah. and the graphics look great. So, can, it's hmm. pretty much like my second computer now. Hmm. Nice. It's actually it something small and just kind of word processy. There's like there's an absolute shit ton of them on like. There's loads of different um, companies popping up that are doing them now. Mini PC. They could probably get really like saturated, to be honest, but I don't know. It seems to be pretty good. It's really nice. And um, I think it's because like it's these like mini PCs like the kind of like come with as much memory as a smartphone. If you know what I mean, like, yeah. so this one's only got, I think it's only got like 32 gig of internal storage, but like obviously it's got like loads of USB ports so you can expand it, and there's like micro USB, um, sorry, micro SD card slots and stuff, so you can expand it. So they're pretty awesome, really. I'll check it out. Check out my review, guys. Yeah. I'll find it. It'll tell you everything. Well, any other questions we got? Uh, 
I think Chris has asked about thoughts on the OnePlus 2, but I don't know. I mean, we haven't really seen it other than the specs, have we? So, um, yeah, yeah. spec-wise, looks great. Price-wise, looks great. A um, few people are a bit pissed off that it hasn't got a few things that some of the flagships have got, like maybe an SD card slot or NFC or stuff like that. But I don't think for 280, 290 pound, you can complain. I think it's going to be. Uh, I think the only the only downer is that they've gone with the invite system again. Mm. Oh, how the? Oh, right. But it's some sort of physical invite now, isn't it? Like you get an actual card or something. Oh, do you? I haven't heard that. I just know that they've got they're they're throwing more invites out because they've got more inventory this time. Because I saw that on their blog, they said yes, this is a real invite card, and it looked like you know, like where you get like a membership card kind of thing. Oh, okay. So that mm. so it'll be interesting to see. They've got these pop-up things on Friday in different countries. Like there's one in London, but it's four to six, and I'm working, so I don't know if I'll be able to pop down, but it'll be cool. What what for hands-on on the device or? Yeah, it says like come try out the One Plus Two in local oh, okay. city. Right. So, but I don't know. It's like whenever they do these events, like one company, it's like simultaneously other companies will do events around the same time, and it's like you can't go to everything. Mm. Yeah. So it's just kind of. I mean, it would, it would have been good if they did this next week or something. Mm. But yeah, I don't know. Did they mention um, if it's going to be available with any carriers or anything, or is it only from them again? It's just from them again. Because one thing I noticed is, you know, the website AliExpress, they had tons of supply of One Plus One. Yeah. So hopefully, if if they sell the One Plus Two, then I think people may just buy it directly from them. Well, they had the one. You remember the, um, the One Plus One? They released it, and it had a slightly dodgy kite mark on the back. Uh, it had the wrong font or something, and it got all got stopped at German Customs. They had a whole lot of that inventory um, that managed oh. to manage to get through customs. So I think, uh, to be fair, I think One Plus have probably, by the sounds of it, done a better job with inventory. They've probably got a lot more to give away. Hmm. Because I know AliExpress had the bamboo edition as well, whereas with the OnePlus you had to buy that bamboo cover separately or something. Mm. And even then you needed an invite to a damn cover. That's just ridiculous. <laughs> it's like an accessory. It's like, oh, I'm not special enough to have this damn case. It's like, it's slap to the face. Dude, you got interesting stuff going on behind you. Live commentary. <laughs> what, the door opening and closing? The door opened. Is that a ghost? Oh my god. <laughs> And there's a knife or something coming out, and yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh. um, did anybody see um, Giganoids posted a video this morning, and uh, the smartphone was like encased in this kind of like diamond? Yeah. Did you see that, George? Yeah, I saw that. Yeah. That was so weird. Mm. Um, what, what was it? It, it was, was a smartphone. Uh, what do they call it? Well, it was that a recent video? Yeah, he just mm. posted it this morning and it was just like, what the hell is that? And um, it was the female marketing it with uh, Swarovski crystals. Oh, God, really? Yeah. What was the price on it? 29 or something around the outside of it. Oh, was that on his luxury lifestyle channel? No, no it was on his main channel. Oh. <laughs> I mean, the, oh, God, yeah. the phone like itself seems absolutely shite, unfortunately. Mm. But, uh, oh, just, that's some case. I thought it was like a. To be honest, I thought it was the tackiest thing I've ever seen in my life. Mm. Oh, really? <laughs> it's awful. I mean, why not just make cases with it around the outside rather than. Oh, they've done that as well, though, looking at the phone. Mm. Yeah, oh, it's like, it's shocking, like man. diamonds like in the, in the bezels and shit. Nah. Sick. It's horrible, that dude. <laughs> Not cool. How hey, long? You know, at least somebody are trying something different. Yeah, fair enough. I guess it's just not for me. No, I think me. if I was, if I had that like walk on the streets of Gateshead, I think I'd get me uh, head cut off. Yeah, you wouldn't have it for long, would you? No, no. I think I'd get punched and then um, piss on. Um, how long <laughs> have you guys all been making videos for? Oh, That's a question from DM Reviews. Uh, 2009, I think. January 2009. Oh, gee. Yeah, man. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not, I'm Parav, what about you? 
uh, first channel July 2010, and then PD Tech HD 2012, so five years in total, I guess. Uh, oh. Craig, you've just know. started it, so... Yeah, uh, <laughs> I've made probably the grand total of maybe ten, ten videos over the course of probably about seven years, so I wouldn't even <laughs> say that I'm making videos. Yeah. I've been doing it for, like, a couple of years, but, like, I've kind of, like, only recently, like, uh, I think got better at it, I think, but, um, yeah, it's for a couple of years. Some of my older videos are absolutely atrocious, like... Um, but yeah, a couple of years. It's too bad. Thank you for your question. Super OG. That was when my voice was really squeaky. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. I think we should all like meet up and like do a video together. That would be really cool. We should do that one day. I think I'll travel a, a down there. A video or what? A rap video or what? <laughs> a rap video. I mean, maybe. <laughs> Why not? With the I guitar. Thought, with the guitar, yeah. Like an, the guitar. Indie rap, an indie rock rap video. That hasn't been done before, and there's probably a reason for that. Yeah, oh, okay, fine. <laughs> <laughs> you know, like the, um, the video Unbox Therapy did. Yeah. Rap would we'll, we'll do one of those. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah the fanboy rap. <laughs> As you watch that go through, you see him getting more and more serious and thinking, actually, I'm a rapper. I'm really good yeah. at this. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on. I can do this as well. Yeah. Aye. That was, a, that was a bit of fun, wasn't it? it was, that was like, it was kind of like that time like when they all like came together, wasn't it? Like all the kind of the big tech YouTubers and then yeah. Yeah. now all of them are like gross and like millions of subs and stuff like that. But like you can see they all kind of like came together and worked together. Because it was from there, then they started kind of like collaborating with like a lot more kind of videos as well, isn't it? It was good. I think we got some good content out of it. But it looks like they've kind of like stopped doing that a bit, or it's like a it's a bit more infrequent than it was. And I think they're probably just really busy. I mean, you look at them, yeah, they're all blowing up, haven't they? And I bet, yeah. Lou's doing his stuff. For, you know, he's doing car videos, and you name it, he's doing spots and adverts all over the place. Yeah. I mean, people have got stuff all over the place. Those guys, so yeah, yeah. High-tech news. Hello, ultimate reviews. Oh, yeah, he was the guy that helped me earlier. Ike. Yeah, he's really cool. Uh, <laughs> Tech news in answer to your question. Yeah. <laughs> so you're not tempted to, like, create a video on that straight away, P? Or have you already done one? I haven't caught it. Well, I've got the hands-on from the foot uh, from the event earlier, so I'm going to edit right. that. I guess for this one, I'm just going to take my time with it and do like a hand, like a one-week review or something. Too right, man. I think that would be better because I haven't done a review in ages. Everyone's like, "Where's the reviews?" The last review I did was probably the iPhone. Since then, it's been all event <laughs> coverage or like thoughts yeah. or something. Because like, I think, it's, I think it's cool though, man. You know what I mean? Because like, you've got like me who fucking spams everyone all the time, <laughs> and then. Uh, <laughs> But well, at least I've got the fucking gear, you know what I mean? Um, but I, I like what you do. I think it's cool. It's fresh. You know, you don't have to do everything all the time like me. <laughs> but what can I say, lads? I'm Take a creature of habit. Review, no. Yeah. But yeah. No, I noticed like earlier, like people that do this kind of stuff full time, like Rukumbu um, and other people, they seem kind of they need to be a lot more focused and they, they, they need to kind of cover certain aspects. Like the good thing about being independent is you can cover what you want and there's yeah. no pressure. Mm -hmm. Like it's not like the PR company's going to email you and be like, oh, why isn't the video up yet or whatever. You know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. So it's, it's kind of cool in that way. But I think that's the thing. I think some maybe some YouTubers, maybe some YouTubers, they get to a certain level, a certain point where it becomes less fun and more work. Um, and I think once you tip over that, you end up not really enjoying it quite as much, and and maybe that shows in the videos. And I think you know you guys, you guys, you three specifically who are on, I think you can see that you're doing it because you enjoy doing it. You're doing it because you enjoy the tech, and you're not doing it because you want that one extra subscriber or that hundred extra views. You know, you want to do it because you enjoy capturing the footage and, yeah. and um, doing the voiceovers, and you're actually enjoying what you're doing. 
Of I course. like the editing aspect because it's like you really show your creativity that way. <laughs> it's really cool to try yeah. different effects and see, you know, how how it works and everything. So. I just think like uh, I think Jordan's like videos specifically because you can see how much like time and attention to detail he puts in it because you know that's good though. you know that's in, that's impressive you know like that's not just like whacking you know whacking everything out you know you, you, you can tell like you think about it man it's cool yeah and it's, it's obviously a labor of love you know it's not just a kind of yeah. you know it's cool man it's mm. a great. Uh, Thing, like. Yeah, it is, man. Oh, well, actually, I forgot to tell you about this. You know when you were talking about Tilt earlier? That, Craig, was... Thanks to you. Thanks, sir. No got, problem, mate. I got that. Uh, they sent me the... Uh, oh, it's the one with the built-in lightning cable. Didn't you say about that one, actually? Uh, oh, yeah, well, is it the Energy 5K Plus? Oh, no, it's just the smart wall charger. Ah, uh, okay. Oh. That should be cool. Mm. Mm. But just look, I mean, just look at the design on the box. I mean, the packaging's... Pretty cool. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's totally made the effort, like. Yeah. yeah. You pay a little bit extra for it, but if the product's good, then maybe you don't mind. Mm. Yeah. I noticed, like, um, some of the products are quite awkward to actually get out of those, like, really nicely packaged <laughs> things. So that's a bit yeah. of a drawback, but, uh, nah. They make some nice gear. And it came with some bubble gum. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're so lucky. I didn't get that. <laughs> <laughs> Golden gum nuggets. Oh, they like you better than oh, me. Sweet. That's not fair. I'm going to have to send a, a strict email now for both of them. <laughs> I didn't even know what they were. I've never had them. I said to uh, one of my friends. Oh, hopefully and, uh, they won't explode. Oh, that be good. I've never had these before. Man. No. Um, any of you know Elite Shot? He's a COD gamer and got two LG ultra wide monitors. Just to make a video review on them. Hey man, I would love to. I'd love to do more like monitor reviews. So he bought two just at, and was like, "Look, I want to keep one. I want to review one." Or <laughs> I don't know. Like, I'm not really sure. I think if I had the cash, I think. Uh, I mean, I've got a a dual 26 inch setup now, but I think if I had the cash, I'd have uh, one of the ultra wides, mm. the curved ones, the LG yeah. ones. They look sweet. Yeah, man. I know, um... Yeah, Ryan's got one of those. Oh, is he? Yeah. The 34-inch 34, 34 one. Yeah. They do look nice. Yeah. I'm, um... debating what to, how to go about um, my new setup because I'm going to be moving um, end of the year. Oh. Um, and I've got an office which is practically three times the size of this room. Um, so I don't know whether I would really like to go like three twenty-seven inch, but it's going to be expensive no matter what I do. Well, like a matrix setup, you got yeah. one up here, and yeah. Yeah. or like Mister Tie Box and go with six. No. <laughs> or you could be the complete opposite end and be Barnacles. Yeah. <laughs> Forty twos. <Jeez. laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um. Chat's gone crazy. Big in his tech. Um, that Ryan lad, he talks a lot. <laughs> Cyber verbal. Can't be asked. Lol. Monitors don't get me excited. <laughs> Fair enough, mate. We'll stop talking about that. We'll move on. That's yeah. fine. That's fine. I love monitors. Sorry, counterbalanced. <laughs> sort yeah. of balanced chat we've got, you see. <laughs> Yeah, I'd like to get a monitor in to review. That would be cool. I haven't reviewed a monitor yet. Not yet. I when I um, when G, I, I don't know whether G Sync will ever become a huge thing because of the cost of them. But uh, I think I've been watching a few of the G Sync and the the Free Sync stuff, the AMD stuff, and that was cool for you know mm -hmm. negating the sort of tearing and whatnot. Um, yeah. But I, I don't know enough about it to review it in depth. I'd be going, oh, pretty screen. Um, two HDMI yeah. ports, and you can turn it on. Yeah, <laughs> I think if I got one, I'd like really geek out though, because if it's like a new product, um, something I haven't done before, I like I like to get pretty in depth, like and just geek out with it. We'll see. We'll see. I tell you what, Moz. Um, Hello, Philips. 
I've got some G-Sync ones that they send out for loan. Really? Yeah. That would be cool. Thank you very much for the tip, sir. Interesting. Mm. Yeah, that'd be cool. Mr. Burns' fingers. Excellent. Excellent. <laughs> <laughs> no, man. I mean, as you know, like, how it goes, like, Jordan, and it? it's like, um, sometimes you get to keep the gear, sometimes you don't. And that's literally how it goes. And, like, and if you can't accept that, you know, just stop doing it, basically, I think. like, And it's always a bonus when you do, and it's, and that's it, really. The best we thing try. I've found is when you've done something you thought was going to be alone, and then they said to keep it after. Yeah. yeah Especially definitely. if you lived it. Mm. Yeah. 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 Totally. We try and give away about anything that we get to keep. Um, about 70% of it we try and give away. Um, that's good. You don't get to keep yeah. most of it, do you? No. Everybody always says to me, like, oh, boss, well, you don't get to keep them smartphones. And I'm like, that's not the point. I like playing with them. I like making videos on them, you know, and I don't care if they go back. I, I enjoy new technology. I like playing with it. You know, like, I'm a consumer. I, I like these kind of things. It's fun. Yeah. Chris in the chat, what do you all use as your daily drivers? Nexus 5 for me, old school. Nice Still good. Three. Still does the job. What was that, Jay? Uh, Note 3 for me. Six Edge for me. Yeah. Review coming soon. <laughs> Watch your space review. 2016. <laughs> yeah, I'll do the unboxing <laughs> now and then the review later. <laughs> Uh, one plus one for me. I've been coming back to London, mate, and I'll, I'll lock you in your house until you finish it. Just <laughs> lock them down, put all the spotlights on, get the table ready and that. <laughs> yeah. Coming yeah. winter 2016. Bryce just said, are you going to do a Moto G giveaway? Let's do it. Let's do it right now. Give it away. Yeah, I'm giving away this, this um, phone case for iPhone 4S. <laughs> no, I'm not. Um, that's not a bad idea, actually, doing a giveaway on this stream. Yeah, that's a good idea. Uh, who's got the latest device on the stream? Per, I mean, who? <laughs> yeah, let's let's give one of them away. <laughs> Can't be a review unit if you've given it away. Yeah. Ryan said, "You got to keep it." Well, what the hell? Who's the lucky bugger who gets to keep it? They said to me and Ike as a review unit, so I don't know. I'm not sure. There well, must be like a point in time when like every like tech reviewer under the sun has had the sample, and then the last one gets it, and they say like, "Oh, just keep it." Yeah. <laughs> say it's not relevant anymore. Just keep it. You know. That's got to happen. To be honest with you, I was thinking about that about the um, the smart ultra ultra six. I was thinking like by the time everybody's like um, had it. Mm. I'd probably just say, look, can I buy it off you for like a really cheap price? Because everybody's had it, yeah, and I because I want that phone, like I genuinely want it. So you know, and I, and I don't want to pay fuck all for it. So, <laughs> so there you go. What happens if they send you a review net that they want back, but you break it? It's never happened to me. No. No, it happened to me. Oh, what happens? Um, they sent me a oh Christ, what was it now? It was three that sent it out to me. Um, I did a re oh, I know what it was. It was a Note Four. I did a, a retrospect thing, so looking back and seeing how it kind of fares against current flagships, and yeah. um, I took it out to start taking some footage and out in London. And I was actually working down there, so I was on the streets and literally I lifted it up and then it dropped it. Um, oh shit! And the screen popped. Wow. Oh, yeah, not cool. Um, but they were really cool about it. Sent it back. Sent me another one out. Oh well. Well, it's life, isn't it? You know, it's one of these things. I mean, it wasn't. The, it wasn't a brand new one. It had been around. You could tell by the packaging, and it had been around a bit. You know, a few people have got the grubby little mitts on it. So, um, yeah. what? What's one phone? Yeah. But they didn't charge uh, me, so they were good. Exclusive guys, if you're a fan of my content, I've got this tasteful mouse that I got from Sandberg. Oh yeah. Well, Have you got it, Jay? 
No, I got the uh, the press email though. Um, yeah, it's it's really it's so weird, like the design. I don't know if you can tell, but like all the mm. it's it's, just, yeah, you see the reflection. It's so it's strange, a, like a mouse out of um, like Transformers or something. Yeah, is, yeah. Is that comfortable when you hold it? No. <laughs> <laughs> you heard it here first. Spoilers. Not the moment. Um, bullshit mouse. <laughs> it sucks. I'll tell you why it sucks at this very moment in time, early days, because they didn't include batteries. Okay. Uh, double A's. Triple, triple A's. Two triple well, A's. Uh, and it's a no, no. Sorry. Perhaps he's not included. Yeah, man. Good film. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, review coming soon. Now, this is the only gadgety thing that I've got that's newish. I don't know whether you can. Like, it's a Meizu MX5. Oh. I think I was going to ask you about that, actually. Yeah, it's a nice play. It, I don't know whether you can tell. It looks like a big iPhone. Mm. <laughs> it's And it feels like a big iPhone. Um, like, the older, like the older style back and then the rounded edge. Yeah. Is. But it's got. Um, a, oh, hold on. Guys, I think I'm going to go because I've got an early start work tomorrow, so I don't know how long you guys are going to carry on for, but... Probably about five minutes, man. That's probably yeah, probably... we'll wrap up, we'll wrap up. <laughs> but yeah, it's got a clicky home button um, that's fingerprint sensor, and I found it a cracking fingerprint sensor, to be fair. So yeah, um, nice. the only thing is, when you try and... Uh, <laughs> I won't do it on, on here, but when you try and ask it something, use the voice activation, it responds in Chinese, uh, which isn't uh, great because I don't speak it. What's the weather like today? <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs> I totally agree. <laughs> All right, I think that's I think that's going to do it. What do you reckon, lads? That's <laughs> yeah. a good point. <laughs> hey, thanks very much, Craig, for being on the stream. No yeah, problem, any time, pal. You're coming there, uh, coming on. I I can tell everyone now in advance, um, if we do a stream next week, we'll have Ryan with us. Wee! There you go. There you go. Exclusive. You had it here first. <laughs> no mind. Uh, thank you to everybody in the chat who uh, participated. Thank you. All your Cheers, guys. Questions and... and... Yeah. Cheers. So we'll organise one for next week. Don't forget to check these guys' YouTube channels out because they're really producing some good content, guys. So support them, hit that like and subscribe. It's all down below, guys, as well. Everyone's linked. <laughs> You're like, give me the subs. <laughs> <laughs> all of the subs, all of the subs. <laughs> Don't make that a gif. <laughs> no, man. I did update it just a few minutes after it went live, so if it's not there, you just might have to refresh the page and you can find it all down there. Awesome. Cool. Right, all right thank lads. you, We'll speak to you all next week. Or on Twitter. Take care, Craig. Take care, lads. Take care, guys. Cheers. Bye. Bye. Bye, Internet.